Come to ACF, the online platform for great agriculture engineering. And this is all about me. Here you can see that specific energy. A specific energy is nothing but it is all total energy. When you add all the energies means all the head losses, head loss due to heights, head loss due to depth of liquid and due to velocity, the head. If you add all these heads, then you can get the specific energy. You can clearly see here V square by 2Z plus H plus Z means total height. That is our specific energy. Now friends, next, next thing you can see that hydraulic jump. Friends, whenever water flowing in in a open channel, then at some at some point there is certain jumps in the water level. That is called our hydraulic jump. Means there is sudden rise in our water level during the flowing of water in an open channel. That is called our hydraulic jump. So this is the derivation for calculation calculation of depth of hydraulic jump means here you can see that at point 1 and at point 2 at point 1 the water level is low and at point 2 there is sudden rise in the water level so this is our hydraulic jump you can clearly understand here this diagram now friends we will do the derivations friends the derivation is simply the application of quadratic equation I think all of you have studied the quadratic equation but the most important thing is our final results so I will recommend you all to if you are able to remember that derivation then you remember otherwise if you are able to remember only the final result then also you are able to solve the questions so before seeing the derivation first you understand what is fraud number fraud number is nothing but simply the ratio of velocity by divided by root under ZD means fraud number will decide the super critical flow you can see here about the fraud number it will decide whether the flow is super critical and the flow is subcritical means when the fraud number is greater than 1 then the flow is super critical and when the fraud number is less than 1 then the flow is subcritical so here you can see that Fraud number is equal to V1 F E1 is equal to V1 divided by root under G D1. Means velocity divided by depth of flow on upper stream. Means root under G D1. Friends, you have to remember this. Aapko ye fraud number remember karna hi hoga. You have to remember this. If you want to solve the question, then you simply have to remember this. And after this, you can calculate the depth of flow means d1 and d2 are the depth of flows d1 is the depth of flow before hydraulic jump and d2 is the depth of flow after hydraulic jump so you will see here the calculations i have done and after equating both equation equations we have got the final result here that is d2 is equal to d1 by 2 into root under 1 plus 8 fe square minus 1 that is the most important portion सबसे important friends ये formula है जो आपको याद रखने question है that is d2 is equal to d1 divided by 2 into root under 1 plus 8 fe square minus 1 this is our simple formula and we have to use this formula because many times questions have been solved upon this formula so it's very important I will show you its more clear version now here you can see that d2 is equal to d1 by 2 into root under 1 plus 8f square minus 1 that is and f is equal to v1 by g d1 root under g d1 friends this is the most important formula and this is all about the hydraulic jump means hydraulic jump mein jab bhi question aayenge to isi formula se aayenge so you should be very clear and very thorough with this concept Friends, many times in hydraulic jump, they will ask question upon the loss of energy in hydraulic jump. So, loss of energy is nothing but E1 minus E2. Means, energy before hydraulic jump minus the energy after hydraulic jump. So, you, you have clearly seen that D1 plus V Z1 square by 2Z and v, V2 square by 2Z minus D2. So, you can get H is equal to means energy loss due to hydraulic jump is nothing but it is equal to D2 minus D1 by 4 d2 d1 
this is the simple formula for calculation of energy loss in hydraulic jump and where d2 minus d1 is depth of hydraulic jump now friends you can see that energy head energy head i have shown you in my previous slide also it is total head is equal to energy head you can see each and every notations z is elevation head h is flow depth v square by 2z is nothing but velocity head means each and everything you can clearly see here and another thing friends v we can replace the velocity v by q by a means velocity is equal to discharge by area so v square by 2z can be replaced as q square by a square by 2z so you can clearly see this derivation and this is the most important that is critical depth critical depth is nothing but dc is equal to 2 by 3 he where he is the height means the notation he you can clearly see here he is the specific energy head so dc our critical depth dc is equal to 2 by 3 he and dc is also equal to root under means 1 to the 1 by 3 root over 1 by 3 q square by b square g means this is very important formula and many times questions has been asked upon this and you can easily able to solve by this formula and i will once again recommend you to pause the video and reach each and every notations given here discharge q is discharge and small q is discharge per unit width b is the channel width this all things are very important so you should clearly see this all things and now here you can see that critical flow is nothing but a into area into velocity critical velocity friends critical velocity is nothing but g into vd root under g into dc you can clearly see that dc we have calculated dc is root under q square by b square g and the critical velocity is root under g into dc aapko ye sare formulas yaad rakhne tabhi ja ke aap question ko solve kar paoge so once again i will recommend you to please remember each and every formulas and each and every terms and here you can see that the question asked in 2000 on the fraud number friends i have told you the formula for fraud number it is d2 by d1 is equal to 1 by 2 into 1 plus root under 8 f square minus 1 so you simply the here sorry here the root under is minus 1 is taken in root under so this is incorrectly here the root under is extended but actually it is not the formula you can see this is our actual formula d2 is equal to d1 by 2 into 1 plus 8 f square minus 1 means root under is not extended over minus 1 but here in the solution the root of uh, root under is extended over minus 1 so here a little bit minor mistake but you will do the calculations your answer is going to be 12 cm means 12 is your answer when you do the calculations so you don't be panic about that that here i have done the root over minus 1 so you don't be panic you will get your answer as 12 you put all these values and friends here d2 by d1 is equal to 1 by 2 into root under 1 plus 8 f square and then after you will subtract minus 1 means minus 1 is not under root yahan pe hame se thoda sa means printing error ho gaya hai ki minus 1 ko root under ke andar liya gaya hai but actually minus 1 is not under root minus 1 is independent so you will do your calculation i will recommend you all to solve this question by yourself by your calculator so you will definitely get the correct answer now you see the next question here it is also asking the fraud number velocity is given and the diameter is given so fraud number is nothing but v by gd i think all of you have read that v by root under gd so diameter is given 25 mm and velocity is 0.5 meter per second so you put both these values you will get the fraud number 1.02 now friends you see the next question here in a rectangular channel the flow is critical state with a specific energy of 3 meter and the discharge per unit width it is asking means it has given the specific energy it has given that is 3 meter means the h value h e value i have told you in my previous slide that remember all the relations de is 
equal dc is equal to 2 by 3 into hc he is equal to root under 3 q square by b square g so it is asking discharge per unit width so you have to calculate the small q means capital q square by b square you have to calculate means capital q by b you have to calculate so you put all these values and use this relationship you will get the discharge per unit width that is 8.86 meter cube per second per meter now you see the next question here the discharge and velocity are given discharge is given and the velocity are given and the width is given 5 meter and it is asking about the specific energy friends i have told you a specific energy is nothing but it is it is our total energy means total head means velocity head plus discharge head plus elevation head so here nothing given about elevation so you simply calculate the flow depth here the width is given and the velocity is given so width into velocity is nothing but our area area per unit time means you have calculated the area and the discharge is given so discharge by area area per unit time will give you the flow depth means flow depth our h we have calculated you can simply understand by unit and dimension also discharge by area per unit time will give you the depth means the meter it will give you the your value in meter so you will get flow depth is equal to 1.33 meter and this velocity is, is v square by 2z so v square by 2z you can get and you add both these values you can get the answer that is 1.45 meter that is the b option now you see the next question here in this case it has given that velocity is 7 meter per second and the depth is 0.12 meter and it is asking about the subsequent depth means it has it is asking about the d2 means d1 value is given in the question and we have to calculate the d2 value so you simply use the relation d1 by d2 or d2 by d1 whatever relation you want to use you can use both the relations are correct either you can use d2 by d1 if you are using d2 by d1 then you you have to give the fraud number in terms of d1 means you have to give the fraud number in terms of d1 and when you are using d1 by d2 then you have to give the fraud number in terms of d2 aapko ye simply cheez yaad rakhne because many times students are confused that they are thinking whether it is d2 by d1 or d1 by d2 you can write it in any way either d1 by d2 or d2 by d1 but you have to only consider the f value f is important when you are writing d1 by d2 means suppose here in this question it has been written like d1 by d2 then we have to calculate the f value you can see that f is equal to v by root under gd so the d we are using there v by root under gd means the d we are using that is d2 we will use f is equal to v by root under g d2 means agar hum d1 by d2 use karte hain to hame jo fraud number f calculate karna hoga usme apne ko use karna hoga v divided by root under g into d2 aur agar hum d2 by d1 karte hain then hame fraud number mein v divided by root under g d1 karna hoga means d1 by d2 or d2 by d d1 is your choice but you have to change the fraud number f value according to d1 by d2 or d2 by d1 so here in this case also we are using the same thing we have assumed that the depth is equal to means d2 value is equal to 0.12 meter we have assumed you can solve it by assuming d1 value also 0.12 meter no problem you can get answer by that way also and you will get the same answer but here we have assumed that d2 value is 0.12 meter so you will calculate v by root under g d2 you can get the f value that is 6.45 and now d1 by d2 is equal to 1 by 2 into 1 root under 1 plus 8 f square minus 1 here sorry i have written the minus 1 first but you can write it as root under 1 plus 8 f square minus 1 so you will write and you will get the answer 1.04 that is our a option this is all about the fluid mechanics and next we will do the applications of fluid mechanics in the irrigation 
chapter also because irrigation is fully related to our fluid mechanics so whatever we have studied here in fluid mechanics is useful in our irrigation also so you read this chapters very carefully and friends don't forget to subscribe our channel and share it to all the serious gate aspirants so that you can prepare well and excel the examination in better way so thank you welcome to is